Hello guys, welcome back. So let's continue with counting the elements on the page. And let's go back to our website. And let's see that we have a two p tags. And let's say you want to write a function which will return a number of how many p tags or any other element are presented on the website. So let's go down below the text and let's create one more variable. And let's say I'm going to name it just count for now. And here again, we need to call await page. But in this case, we need to double dollar eval function because this one with the one dollar sign is returning a single element. And with two sides, uh, two dollar signs is returning multiple elements. So we want to target the p tag. And now what you want to do with that element. So let's say you want to get element and the callback function is element dot length. So basically what this function does, it, it will go through the website and it will find all the p tags on the web page and it will return the number. So let's check it out. Let's do console log and let's say number of p tags on the page and let's do count and let's run the test. And as you can see, the test had returned number two. So let's go back and let's see if it's actually correct. And yes, there are only two p tags on the side, this one and this one. So as you can see, it's pretty much working. And again, this is a pretty handy trick which you can do with Puppeteer because there is no function such as get count. So you need to improvise using the evaluate function. And I think as you can see, it's pretty much the simple. So in the next videos, we will start working with assertions. So we can use all these values and actually uh, use assertions on them and verify that the values are correct. So I think that's all for the get count and let's move on.